What is SCXML? It is an XML-based markup language that provides a generic state machine-based execution environment based on Harl state charts. The most basic state machine concepts are states. Every state may have an identifier which must be unique within the session. Another state machine basic concept is transition. State machine flows along the transition from state to state. Transitions between states are triggered by events and conditionalized via guard conditions. Events can be generated by the state machine itself or by external entities. When an event occurs, the state machine checks the transitions that are defined in the active state. States can be atomic, compound or parallel. Atomic state does not contain any child states. Compound states may contain nested elements and the nesting may proceed to any depth. Parallel state represents a state whose children are executed in parallel. Children are simultaneously active when the parent element is active. Initial state represents the default initial state for a compound state element. The default initial state of a compound state may also be specified via the initial attribute. Final state represents a final state of a state machine or compound state element. The history pseudo state allows a state machine to remember its state configuration. A transition taking the state as its target will return the state machine to this recorded configuration. Where to find the SCXML specification? The definitive guide to authoring SCXML documents is the W3C working draft of the SCXML specification. Every element is described in its own section. There are described all attributes and children that the element may have. SCXML interpreter may define one or more data plus scripting languages that can be used to store values and perform calculations. Specification defines an ECMAScript data model but platforms are free to define others if they choose. Various event transport mechanisms are offered to exchange events or messages with other components in the environment. Basic HTTP is described in specification as transport mechanism for external communication. There are some classical examples where an overview of the language is given and is shown how the state machine transition flows. The official specification does not have graphical illustrations so you may visit the corresponding GitHub project. State machine elements will have illustrations and links to the video lessons. There are various SCXML implementations. USCXML is a platform that features the fastest microstep implementation available and consists of three principal components. C++ library containing an interpreter and accompanying functionality. A standards compliant command line interpreter and transformer compiler with different language bindings. Documentation is created from inline comments in the source along with some dedicated markdown pages via Doxygen. It is available online or could be built from source. USCXML is the fastest and quite powerful but there are some unclosed important issues. Cyan is another implementation of SCXML, which aims to provide a complete system for developing SCXML in JavaScript. Cyan source code is available on GitLab. It consists of core state charts interpreter, SCXML compiler and graphical visualization tools. Cyan integrates with the Visual Studio code and may be graphically debugged. Cyan has a complex software tools for developing SCXML projects but speed is less than USCXML. The Qt SCXML module provides functionality to create state machines from SCXML files. It supports the null data model, and the ECMAScript data model and in addition provises its own C++ data model.
Qt SCXML integrates tightly with Qt's meta object system, for example, transitions between states can be triggered by signals, and states can be configured to set properties and invoke methods on Q objects. Qt has a compiler tool that reads an SCXML file and produces C source and header files, containing a class that implements a state machine. Qt has perfect documented examples that demonstrate the functionality provided by the QTSCXML module. Qt seems to be the best platform to start developing with SCXML but for more difficult applications, State Machine Editor requires more functionality. Using graphical state chart editing helps engage spatial reasoning, making interaction logic editing more accessible to visual artists. Graphical user interface by Fabrizio Morbini is available on GitHub. It requires Java Virtual Machine to be run. It has auto layout and possibility to save manual layout. Executable content properties and on enter, on exit handlers are edited in pop up windows. This editor is easy to start use but lack of project inspector for contained SCXML files, property inspector for executable content and invisible properties and conditions on chart are critical issues for using. QTSCXML editor is integrated into QT Creator. It has structure view, properties inspector. Elements are graphically linked with the structure. You can use the toolbar buttons to execute functions such as editing, zooming, magnifying, navigating, and panning state charts, as well as taking screenshots and viewing statistics. Qt SCXML Editor is a good tool for editing state charts but it requires ability to visually debug state machine execution. SCXML Editor by Alex Zorniak is a powerful tool for creating, editing and debugging SCXML files. It has property inspector with field editors that check values to be standards compliant. Diagram zone displays full visual information about executable content, comments, transitions. It supports internal debugging with null, ECMAScript or Lua data model. Graphical high lightning synchronized with XML source code. Also it supports external listening with high lightning shapes during on enter and on exit events. There is an ability to pause message queue or set breakpoints. SCXML Editor by Alex Zorniak has one of the most powerful IDE but it is Windows platform only. There are also another SCXML implementations and editors. You can find links to them on the official Wikipedia page. Thank you for watching.